Uh, one of the Psalms says, unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build. Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain do the watchmen stand guard. And we should be very conscious of that in our day. In our day when uh, uh, people can carry out terrorism. The only thing that's going to protect us and protect our cities, towns, is the Lord. Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain do the watchmen stand guard. And so uh, that ties into the idea, if we're going to build the things of the Lord, we must build on foundations. And I took two places in scripture where the Lord talks about uh, a, um, uh, foundations. It's in the, uh, when I say the Lord talks about it, the whole of scripture is the book of the Lord. The, uh, that sense that even God sometimes is telling us something in uh, uh, one part and he has been verified. Like even for example, the Good Shepherd Psalm. It's the one we all uh, hear at funerals and that. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. But one of the things that he says there, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, and with your rod and your staff, you'll give me courage. Who is the who that's walking with us? The shepherd. And Jesus later is going to come along and say, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and they know me. They hear my voice and they follow me. Jesus is the fulfillment of Psalm 23. He is the one that's going to lead us to, he said in John 14, in my Father's house there are many dwelling places. I go to prepare a place for you, and I will return to take you with me. And even in some senses, in, in people with near-death experiences, talk about meeting, a person of light, a person of kindness and gentleness. Maybe science is, is uh, just catching up with Psalm 23. That we have the encounter with the Great Shepherd. And, uh, and so, in building up of the body of Christ here on earth, building up the, of the church, we need to uh, say, am I, am I working with a foundation? Do I, there's, I could have chosen other <clears throat> areas, but I've chosen uh, Hebrews and uh, Ephesians, where in, in Hebrews, uh, it, um, he talks about Let's go on further. Hopefully we will go on further. Not uh, 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 concerning the doctrine of Christ. You know that word doctrine? Every now and again somebody says to me, I don't believe in a church with doctrines. And I, I always go to Hebrews and said, it says right there, the doctrine of Christ. And then he goes on to say, what are those, what are those doctrines? The foundations. And the foundations are that we uh, uh, repentance from dead works. Oh, sometimes we don't talk that much about repentance from dead works. Anything in our life that is not really uh, uh, for the glory of Christ Jesus or connected in ways to it uh, can be under the category of dead works. Because you and I, remember the old catechism one? Why did God create you? God created me to know him, to love him, to serve him, and to be happy with him forever in heaven. Hey, oh, you all know that old book, don't you? <laughs>